Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm here today putting in a 60 amp circuit for a Tesla wall charger. I'm going to make a hole saw hole in this sheetrock below this panel right here and install a 60 amp circuit. Now the hole saw I'm going to use is going to be large enough to fit a Romex connector that I'm going to use and attach to the back of the wall connector plate. I realize this video is in this section of the video is in time lapse mode, but what I did here to get my wire into the bottom of the panel without any, doing any damage to the sheetrock around the panel was I attached the Romex connector directly to the wire and I pushed up the wall that didn't have any insulation into the bottom of the panel. I, I took out a KO seal and uh, then I put my lock nut around the connector and now the 60 amp circuit is in place. So I'm going to terminate that into a two pole. A double pole 60 amp home line circuit breaker, and that'll supply this Tesla charger that you see here. So, the first thing I need to do is remove the back plate, the mounting plate that gets attached to the wall from the charger itself. And then, once that charger, once the plate has my wires and they've been terminated to the terminals on the plate, then we attach the Tesla connector to it, and uh, he's up and running and ready to charge his car. It's really a simple job. Um, I've done a lot of these, so maybe it's a little simple for me because I do a lot of them. But I hope you learned a thing or two from this job. And that uh, if you have the time to hit the like button and also subscribe, that'd be fantastic. I look forward to hearing your comments down below. Now I'm using this drill bit here to drill out the plastic on the mounting bracket here so that I can attach to the sheetrock. I've done this before and I don't know why the, the, the Tesla doesn't come out with a plate that's easier where you don't have to drill a hole. Or maybe I'm not doing it right and you can tell me in the comments. That'd be great. Uh, but I drill three holes here, one at the top, two at the bottom, and then I use these easy anchors, I think they're called, uh, mm -hmm. into the sheetrock to attach the bracket to the wall. Um, but you'll see here in a minute, I will be using a step bit uh, to knock out the plastic KO that's there, the knockout, uh, so I can put my Romex connector in. So a step bit, if you haven't seen one, you'll see it here in a second. Um, you can get variable sizes, you can get variable hole sizes by using a step bit. They're a little expensive, um, but definitely worth it, and I, have a, I, go, I go through a couple every year. So we're going to ream it out until we get the right size to put the Romex connector in. And then I'll use my lineman pliers after the lock nut is tight to tighten it up even more, making it a nice firm connection. And then I'll take that <clears throat> wire sticking out of the wall, bring it through the connector, and uh, mark my holes where my anchors are going to go to the wall. And then I put my anchors in, we'll put the set screws in, then we'll wire the bracket, and then we'll almost be done with this Tesla charger. Like I said, it's really simple to do, um, but then again, I've done a lot of them. So. If you have a simpler way of doing this, uh, leave it in the comments. I, I do learn from the comments, so uh, I appreciate you making them.
Yes. <laughs>